In this video, we'll look at how to use the eShutter solution with an IQ digital back. The solution comes in two parts, the shutter itself and the interface box. Here we have the interface box and we will connect the USB cable and the Sinar X contact cable. First of all, we will connect the USB cable to the interface box. We will also connect the sync cable. Once these are connected, we can plug this into the USB in our computer. We will also connect the sync cable, either 8 pin for IQ 1, 2 and 3 or 12 pin for IQ 4. Next, we will take the Sinar X contact cable. Once again, plugging this into the interface box, this should already be connected to the eShutter solution. Once this is all connected, download and install the Sinar eShutter software. Once this has been opened, we can go to Preferences, change Wake Up to Pre-Delay, and the recommended amount depending on what camera back you're using. For most Phase 1 camera backs, we need a delay of 200 milliseconds. This applies to all Phase 1 backs with the exception of the IQ4, which needs 600 milliseconds. Once we've configured this, we can adjust the settings in our shutter and capture images. We can also see we have settings for first curtain flash sync, rear curtain flash sync, or disable the flash completely. On the other side we have time, bulb, single shot, continuous shot, bracketing, and self timer. Once we are ready with our settings, we can hit the capture button. In the eShutter software, we can control shutter speed and aperture, and ISO must be controlled on the digital back. When you capture, it will save to the card or tethered into Capture One. Please note if using an IQ digital back, you may need to use a signal cleaner. This can be plugged in between the sync cable and the interface box. There is a link below this video with more information about this.